What is up here? It's Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we escaped from the lounge. Did we do that last episode, or was that the episode before that? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, we're moving pretty quickly, but we did spend quite a bit of time talking to a few of our friends that are trapped here in the Nonary game, and it was awfully suspicious in terms of claiming. Uh, I guess what timeline he came from. And we also had the chance to talk to Clover a little bit about her background, maybe get a little bit more insight, but not quite enough. However, now we have one last place to investigate, and that's where we're gonna go, the infirmary. So let's see what's going on here. How's it going? It sounds pretty dismal. You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, Alice Clover and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, then? Ah, uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. And you thought maybe you'd find something here you could help with? Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fai, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Fai's like, hey, just like chill. I don't know why you do it or whatever it is, but right now, there's not a lot of evidence, but what evidence does exist, it kind of points in your direction, so... I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. Yeah, exactly. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. What a great mindset. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but do any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Okay, so this is actually pretty interesting, because if Quark doesn't know her, but Tenyoji presumably does, that gives a little bit more insight into the relationship. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. <clears throat> if someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. <laughs> Thanks for the added touch, Quark. Oh. I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not. But... But what? I mean, he has amnesia, he has no idea. I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. The mask and suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. I mean, K may be coming from a world where it's natural or expected or straight up necessary to wear such a suit to survive. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. 
なこと聞くけどそれってどうやっても脱げないの This might be a pretty obvious question, but is there any way for you to take it off? No. I have tried several times to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? So, this is actually pretty helpful because this is sort of like that body inspection from one of the other timelines, right? So, this may rule out K from that suspicion. With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find something of interest. There's a hole here, on the back of your head. A uh, hole? Yeah, looks like you insert something, and if. Presumably, you turn it to the right, there's an open switch. Huh. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. Yeah, I mean, it's not reassuring knowledge, but it is more knowledge in something that was completely nebulous prior, right? I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait. A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Yeah, I agree with you 100% here, Cor. It does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? Well, I think that's enough about me. Shouldn't we be making our way back to the rendezvous? Yeah, I think so. I'm shocked we haven't heard about the bomb yet. Oh, crap. I totally forgot. Darn, we're already late. All the more reason to move along. Let's hurry. Come on, to the elevator. So, this is actually really interesting, right? We never discovered any bombs this time around. Is it that nobody found them, or is it that the person who planted them is responsible for searching or spending time in the room that they were planted in? If it's the latter, that would help narrow things down quite a bit, right? The first time around in the other timeline, we found it in the crew quarters. That's where Temyoji and Clover were. I think other people were too, but I don't remember exactly who. But yeah, I mean, I guess they don't have time for that emergency this time around. Oh, and that's right, isn't it? Um, we're in a hurry for the next set of chromatic doors. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. What the heck, you're late! I'm curious to see how they decide this time around, right? <laughs> what, you just thought you'd take your time getting back? S sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it. Did you forget how this works? I'm your partner. Any later and you'd have killed us both, especially me. You should remember that too, Sigma. I can't go through without you. You got back in time, but you need to be more careful. Okay. Please, stop fighting. This isn't the time for that. Yeah, I mean, they both have very reasonable concerns and are understandably very upset. Um, Luna also reasonably addresses the fact, though, that they only have a few minutes before everybody dies if they don't walk through these doors, right? 
She's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three combinations. The options I laid out for us were the following. Option A. Alice and I would pair up with Luna and go through the green door. Didn't Alice and I pair up, or rather, didn't Alice pair up with Luna and myself in the last game? Or in one of the previous timelines? I can't quite remember, because I was paired with Luna at one point. I'm trying to remember who we voted with, right? Who was our AB game opponent? Was it Alice? No, it wasn't, because Alice was our first opponent. Was it Clover? Clover, K, Dio, Temyoji... I don't remember. Darn, I don't remember, guys. But that's one of the options. We go through the green door. Temyoji and Quark, Magenta would pair up with Clover and open the blue door. That's interesting. I would love to see how Temyoji and Quark interact. Phi and Dio, Yellow would pair up with K and open the red door. Ooh, that's another interesting combination. I'm already leaning towards A, even though I'm not too eager to spend more time with Alice. We've already spent a lot of time with Alice, but... Option B. Alice and I would pair up with K. Okay, and go through the blue door. Temyoji and Quark would pair up with Luna and open the red door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Clover. So, still a reasonable option. I'm not... Well... I mean, I like the fact that we'd be pairing up with Luna, but we haven't spent a lot of time with K, so maybe this is actually what I'd rather see. Especially in a more wholesome trio of Temyoji, Quark, and Luna. That's great. Option C. Alice and I and Clover would pair up and go through the red door. Very interesting. Temyoji and Quark would pair up with K and open the green door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Luna and open the blue door. I'd, I'd be curious to see how Phi and Dio interact with Luna. But honestly, Temyoji and Quark obviously are paired, you know, no matter what. But, um, as are Alice and I. This is also a compelling option. Alice and I working together with Clover? We haven't spent a lot of time with K, though. Oh, I mean, this is all under the impression we're going to get to choose, right? There were some other timelines where it wasn't even up to us. So that's another thing. How are they actually going to decide this time around? Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. All right, so what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with K. Oh, why not? Temyoji suspects him in the murder. We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? You can't be trusted. How unfortunate. Yeah, and I mean, it's the result of your own action. You got nobody else to blame. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why is that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. He's got a point. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then... I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Temyoji. 
Alice. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That was option A, I believe. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. What? <laughs> Alice just asserts that we're taking this option? I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yup. I want to go with Alice too. Yeah, I, fig I figured this dynamic was going to be too strong to the point that this was almost certainly what we were going to end up with. <laughs> Granted, it's a very informative one, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing how they interact with each other, and if there's any chance that we'll actually learn more about both of their backstories, right? Hey, wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Oh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. Dio, they're all just like, Dio's gonna take advantage of Luna? If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Temyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. <laughs> then what the heck are we supposed to do? Yeah, whose preference is going to supersede that of the other? <laughs> One minute remains until chromatic doors close. Not a lot of time left, guys. What? W what's wrong, Quark? <laughs> it's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Is he... Now he's having his episode of Radical Six? Well, that's not good. Are you alright? No. No, that's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't going to die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What the heck? Snap out of it, Quark. Come on, Quark, talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so serious about this stupid game? We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. Ah! We need to get him to the infirmary. No. We don't have time. Yeah, you guys have less than three minutes, right? Less than a minute. <laughs> 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. Do you look at that little smirk on his face? He's like, but we still haven't figured out who's going where. Because he's like, he knows that Temioji's probably gonna cave here. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Called it. Someone just choose, I don't care who. Sigma! You have to choose. What? Why me? Please just do it. You don't have any time left. I actually get to choose? I swallowed. I... Alice and I will... Go through the green door with Luna, go through the blue door with Kay? Go through the red door with Clover? Ah, uh, I don't actually know. If we go with K, uh, Alice is going to be so upset if we don't go with Clover. But then that upsets K and Temyoji. I don't like the idea of Dio being with Luna. Even if that means Luna's with Phi. I do want to learn more about K. 
I do want to learn more about Kay. Let me check the options again real quick. Let's see here. Where are these options? Come on. Scroll and scroll and scroll it. I wish we could check them at this decision point. Okay. So, Alice and I would pair up with K. It would be option B. And Temyoji and Quark would be with Luna. Fi and Dio would be with Clover. You know, I think... I think that's the compromise one, right? Where it's like, we're in, we end up with K. Alice isn't incredibly happy. We're alright with it. Luna's not with either Fi or um, myself. But she's with Temyoji and Quark, who arguably are, um, you know, safer allies in the next AB game. Fi and Dio are more likely to be able... In Clover, that's going to be a double betray if I ever predict one. Alice and I with K. I don't know. I, I want to learn K. This, this seems like a really big deal. It's just that even though... I mean, it's like, this is a very... Option B is a very neutral for everybody. Like, nobody really gets exactly what they want, but nobody's paired with somebody they absolutely hate. Option C, on the other hand, is, you know, there are two pairings that work out particularly well. Uh, but there's one that works out particularly unwell. And so then the first one is another sort of in-between, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, and so if I had to choose between these options, I generally would go for something that's more of a compromise, like A or B. And I think I'm going to go with K so that we can learn more about K. He seems to be, or, or she seems to be, a more prominent character in this timeline. So we're going to go through the blue door with K. Alice! K! The blue door! Right. We should hurry. We took off toward the door at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder to see the others heading for their respective doors. Fi, Dio, and Clover were headed toward the green door, while Temyoji carried Quark toward the red door, followed by Luna. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. So let's see, where are we? So we've already been in the... Wait, the rec room? Have we been there before? I don't think so. And we've been to the, the garden before. Huh. Did the red door lead to the garden before? I guess so. Wait, three doors? It appears they are all locked. Is this a dead end? No, I doubt it. Of course, we gotta, we gotta hit the switch and then see which of the three doors unlocks. Given that the rec room is labeled, I bet that's the one we're gonna go through, but what's that thing over there? It looks like the thing next to the number 9 door. Does that lever move? Only one way to find out. Yeah, so it is gonna be the rec room. Well, that was easy enough. It only opened the door on the right, though. Then we are likely meant to go there. How do we get the other doors to open? I have no idea. There do not seem to be any other mechanisms which might cause them to unlock. That's a good question, because this is also reintroducing the idea of maybe events from other timelines or events in the future and then revisiting this point will cause the other doors to unlock. Sort of throwing this idea of causality and, you know, future and past for a loop again. Like we talked about in that other timeline. I don't think that's really something we should be worrying about right now. We have a door that's open, we should go through it. You are correct. There is little to be achieved by remaining here. For it is then. Or, or right, I guess. <laughs> I will say I'm happily, pleasantly surprised that Alice isn't just, you know, cussing us out right now because she wanted to be with Clover and that's not what we picked. Maybe we'll get a little bit of that once we walk in the rec room though. But let's see what this rec room looks like. Whoa, whole bunch of suits of armor, pool table, uh, was that 0-3 in the back? Billiards, darts, or pool balls, and what is that? 
you know, stuffed deer? Elk? Someone with antlers on the wall? What is this place? The rec room, apparently. Oh, you didn't see it? Why are there suits of armor? There was a plate on the door. Oh, is it maybe like a... I mean, it looks like they're on a stage of some sort. It said rec room, as I recall. Short for recrea recreation, one might assume. How ironic. I doubt recreation is foremost on any of our minds right now. I can also see some of these items being used as a weapon, which is good to know for other timelines. Okay, the pool and darts I get, but... <laughs> exactly. My thoughts exactly, Sigma. What's with all the suits of armor? Seems kind of weird. If you think the armor's weird, check that thing out. <laughs> is that a, a ride? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. I see them in front of grocery stores all the time. You put a coin in and it kind of rocks around. Whenever I see these things, I can't help but think of that SpongeBob episode where Patrick, uh, or rather where SpongeBob is jumping around into people's dreams and he enters Patrick's dream and Patrick's literally just there on one of these coin machines like riding a seahorse over and over and over and the like nightmare he has is that he drops a coin and it goes down, you know, a, a drain or something like that. And it's absolutely hilarious. Whenever I see these, I always think of Patrick. You must have gone on one at least once when you were a kid. I have no memory of doing so, but it is possible. Does this thing mean there were kids here at some point? No, I don't think so. I guess it's part of someone's collection. That seems like an exceedingly odd thing to collect, but they're collectors for just about everything. I collect video games. <laughs> so this place has a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this rec room. It's like we're on some kind of luxury cruise liner. Now that you mention it, it does give the impression that people are supposed to stay here for an extended period of time. Sort of like an arc, right, given that the world is coming to a close? It does add credence to the idea that, you know, this could be many years after whatever pandemic has occurred on the outside of this building. And these just happen to be some of the people lucky enough to be trapped inside, maybe? Yeah, that is pretty odd, right? It also kind of gives me the impression that Zero is making use of what's been provided via this building and didn't necessarily construct every room in this building for the purpose of the Nonary game. Meaning this rec room, the lounge, etc. They already existed, and Zero maybe fancy, or like, you know, fur. What's the furnished um, them and prepared them in a way that was conducive to the Nonary game? But the room layouts, etc., of the building uh, were not really something that Zero could manipulate, and were just a product of what resource was available. But. <laughs> They have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Anyone here would be able to treat at least minor injuries and illnesses. So, you think this room is to help keep people from going out of their minds with boredom? Yes. Relaxation is important in an isolated environment. Everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us here for a while, huh? Well, that's not happening. I agree. Let's just find those moon card things and get out of here. Ah, there's a door over there. No good. Won't open. Looks like it's locked up tight. In other words, the moon cards must be in this room somewhere. Right then. Let's find them. Yeah, and I mean, no doubt they're in the safe, right? Just like the last room. Alright, seek a way out. The rec room this time. A room that we didn't even know existed up until this point. 
I'm quite excited to tackle this puzzle. However, I think we're going to have to save that for in the next episode. I know this has been a pretty short episode, given that we're cutting things off here, but given my allotted recording time and that this seems like a pretty natural place to cut things off, uh, I think that's what we're going to go with. I'm already liking the background music quite a bit. It, it, For some reason, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Max songs from DDR. I don't know if it's, like, the instrumentation or the pace or whatever it may be, uh, but it, for those of you that know, I guess... Let me know if you think the same, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to give it a go. I am looking forward to the chance to learn more about K as well through solving this room, and I hope we get to learn more about potentially what his backstory is. I hope he gets to learn, or they get to learn what their backstory is, because that'd be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah, so um, anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Night Zero, and this mission is complete.